Oh yes, we back in the beach. Was goody as you boy. We back at it again. If you're just now watching this on YouTube, make sure you check me out over here on the Twizzage. You feel me? Here we go, Baki Hanma. Baki Hanma season one, episode three. Let's get it. We are here. Bro, that's the coldest backyard. It's a whole waterfall. Well, except for him. Is it ogre, or is it? But of course, ogre. This is why I got the emote. It's nearly thirteen miles It's gotta be. <laughs> of course, twenty kilometers. That's fast, and they just landed super soft. Bro, look at his physique, bro. What is this? Baki, Baki. My dude hopped out. They said like a orca, or like a tuna. What the fuck going on? Is he, is he gonna laugh? Oh, this nigga is nuts. Ooh, he downplaying Baki. Don't downplay Baki like that. That's our current president. What year is this? Wait, what year is this? Mike Tyson's dead. George Bush is president. What the fuck is going on? What? Wait a second. What the fuck? It's just sound like an alien encounter. Baki? He gonna go to the uh isn't Arizona State. Ain't that where the black dude is? Oliver, aka yep. Mr. Unchained. Yep, no. facts. Let's go. You wanna be put in with that monster? <laughs> Why in the world? I'm the one. He gonna go fight him first? <laughs> he said pay for the coffee and put me up in Arizona. He out here in A Z in the middle of nowhere, huh? The Black Pentagon? The fuck is this? The Black Pentagon. Easy call. These are all the new prisoners. So these are like the top motherfuckers, huh? Baki gonna take everybody out. Somebody gonna try to sneak some shit in right now, huh? Yep, I knew it. I knew somebody was gonna try to sneak some shit in there. Got some up his booty, huh? Mr. Django. Same as you do, but this time. And I get the cheeks out because they got the cheeks out. <laughs> oh, he said, Who's pulling up? Oh, yeah, bring him to me. Obviously, all the weirdest motherfuckers. Baki got to at least body somebody in here. That's because my guy is, I mean, no prison can hold him. He got a deal going. Damn, not even the security got, uh, not even the fucking officers got permission. I mean. He said, look, I can't even go further than this. He gonna bust through the door? Oh. I thought he was gonna greet him with some hands. Just bah! face to face. That's a big dude. The greatest father and son fight <laughs> of all time. So You remember this dude? Yeah, he he's that guy. He actually didn't he get punched by Pops one time? He ate that bitch. He got punched. He was just like, I right, I'm out. He, he threw hands with Pops at one point. They got kind of a mutual respect for each other. Was just letting Ooh. Remember, he eat, he eat punches, bro. He said, yo. <laughs> Listen, just calm down, kid. You hear me? Baki ain't shit right now. Bro, how you been doing all this training and you still ain't shit? If you can't do it, if you can't damage this man's, you have no fucking, there's no way you're going to beat Pops, bro. He said, you sit your me? ass down. <gasps> the fuck? Bro, that's what I'm saying. He's now He Pops fought Pops at one point and was able to hold his own with Pops, but he he knew that he wasn't stronger than Pops. But he knew that, like, yo, all right, if I don't get out of here now, I'm going to die. But he was able to hold his own, bro. First of all, I'm sorry, bro. Pop, 
I'm sorry, bro. Fucking Baki pulls up at his spot, punches my dude in the face. He was like, man, look. He brushed it off like it was nothing. Like absolute nothing. Baki is not ready. So uh, He's got so much growing. Iron Michael? What a coincidence. Wait a... I thought you were dead. <laughs> Listen, I'm number one. You got that? <laughs> In this place, I don't even make the top ten. Oh. Oh, shit. Michael Iron Michael? Don't stop That's number two. You'll face the oh, no. I don't know, but Iron guy? Michael got scared. Oh. Everybody's face is like, fuck. Is that number two? No, my nigga stressed out the sheets. The fuck is that, a giant? Yo, what? Kaiser, you never seen Baki before? It's, it's just over the top. JoJo shit. Think JoJo, but based around martial arts. You know what I mean? Like, rather than their stands being their, their support, it's like their martial arts is it. And then it's just like, you know, there's, his pops is the strongest motherfucker in the world. So what he's doing is he's just trying to train up to become, he's trying to beat his pops, essentially. So, but his pops is so fucking OP. And the motherfuckers in this show is so OP. So... This is what I'm. That's why I like watching it because it's very entertaining. You can't the stories, whatever you know. Get oh shit! This guy is Who the fuck two? is this? He looked like a Go mix between. Now, he like a mix between oh. fucking uh, Beast Titan and Zeke. He looked like Zeke about to transform into the Beast Titan. Look at this dude, bro. Bro, listen. This was season one, like throwback Baki, like. I think it was a 90s version of Baki back then when it first dropped. Those two seasons were probably some of the best seasons of Baki, right? I was just, you know, the story development, all that shit. It was the best. Then every, every, once it got to Netflix, it got real weird. Uh, yes, Pops punched the ground and stopped an earthquake. That nigga's OP. And that's how strong Baki got to get. Wait, that's not even number two? Wait, why does he look familiar? Welcome to he must just have a character hey, design. Hey, were you in the broom closet? Because I'm a warrior. Because <laughs> I'm a warrior. Nigga said, why are you in the broom closet, bruh? Nigga, it's because I'm a warrior. Nigga, Only real ones sleep in broom closets, homie. Only If you're not sleeping in the broom closet, you're not a warrior. Dude, this shit is hilarious. No See, Baki, first of all, do you? This is what an 18 year old mindset. This is how you know he's still a kid. Because you just went to the number one motherfucker in the spot, punched him dead in his face, and he didn't even flinch. And now you're trying to challenge the number two nigga? Yo, Baki is crazy, bro. What? Baki is crazy. Nah, that was the episode? Oh, shit. That's comedy, bro. That shit is funny. This shit is straight, this shit is straight comedy, bro. This shit is hilarious. Baki, Hanma, season one, episode three. We got him in jail. He finally got to where he wants to be. Challenge number one to a fight, couldn't do nothing. Now he's challenging number two, like he about to do something. Like, bro. Come on, bro. If you know number two is fighting number one, number two is confident that he can win. You know what I'm saying? That's the only, only reason, only reason. That's the only reason you're gonna challenge the number one motherfucker if you fu are fully confident that you can win because nobody is crazy enough to challenge number one unless you're trying to die. So that's why I'm like Baki. <laughs> he, he could probably gonna teach Baki a lesson real quick and be like, look. I'm being generous. I'm going to teach you a lesson just because I got a fight with number one coming up. So I ain't trying to really, you know, fuck the whole situation up. So look, wait till I fight number one. And then if you still think you can whoop me or if I'm still alive after the fact, then you know what I'm saying? You can pull up on me. But look, right now you ain't shit. Baki thinks, oh, this shit is hilarious. Pure entertainment. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baki, bro. Baki. 
Baki Hama. This shit is hilarious, bro. But I appreciate y'all, man. And uh, you know what it is, man. As always, have fun. Stay fly. And be free. I'll catch y'all next time. Yep. <laughs>